Hi and welcome to another Type With Me. In today's video I want to talk about NPM overrides to solve vulnerability issues. So for this video I installed Colors. Colors is a package that you can use uh, to color certain things in your string, right? And then if you want to use it and convert it to HTML or to NCE to um, use it within your CLI, for example, well, then that's a great tool to use. But we are not in this video for that, right? Because I want to show you something. So if you want to look if you have any vulnerabilities, you can do npm audit, right? And then you see here that we have vulnerability on NCE html right and of course you can try to fix it but maybe uh, that package and the html doesn't have any fix yet right and it's been stuck there because of course with open source software it can be that maintainers don't provide you any fixes right one thing that you can do then is if it's if the sources are open source right if they are on github or somewhere else on the internet you can create a community fork for it and you can of course um, publish that to npm or you can provide a certain link right and for that we can use the method npm override and i'm going to show you a little bit how to use it and in this particular case we are going to solve nz html by pointing to the right um, community fork version instead of um, this version because yeah colors is depending on nz html we need to do some kind of tricks right so if you want to learn more about overrides in the npm docs you will find a little bit of information on how to use them right so here it says that to make sure the package view is always installed as version 1.0.0 no matter what version your dependencies rely on you can provide this one within your package.json, right? So to make this work, yeah, we have now our overrides, nchtml, and we override it with the nchtml community, right? Uh, with the right version, we need to have the npm version 8.3.0, so we can check that. Uh, we do npm minus v, and then we see that we have 8.5, which is greater than or equals 8.3 right um, of course we need to delete here our node modules so i'm gonna do that i'm also gonna delete our package.log right so i'm gonna delete that as well and then of course we need to do an npm install hey and here we go we get uh, zero vulnerabilities so we fixed it right so if we go now to node dot uh, underscore html we go to nc html and then we go to package.json right and then we need to go up <laughs> and we see here nc html community right so it's been overwritten with the right version that we want the nz html community package and not with the uh, nz html official package which has a vulnerability into it right of course what we still can do is do something like this we can install the latest version of npm right here so i'm gonna do it to make a little bit more sense but yeah whatever um so uh, i hope you enjoyed it i hope you have uh, found something or got something out of it, right? And I hope you can now very easily also solve your vulnerability issues. Again, if the package doesn't have anything right there yet and you know how to fix it, just fork it or try to find or, or create a new version out of it. I know it's not that kind of uh, nice, but again, I think it's a very uh, vulnerable solution, right? And like I said before, thank you very much. Enjoy it. Hope you liked it. You had something out of it. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel.
Thank you very much. See you next time.